What if you could send custom emails to your users based on their form responses? Well, let me show you how with Email Logic. Hey, JetFormers, welcome back. I'm Kimberly. And if you want to get your users the information they want and need, utilizing Email Logic can do just that. So, as you can see, I'm currently in the Email Logic landing page. So, if you have any other questions, make sure you come check out this landing page. But let's go ahead and jump into my dashboard. Now, for this example, I'm going to start from scratch. So, I'm going to head up to the top left hand corner. We're going to choose to create a form from scratch on the classic form. And I'm going to change the name of this form to be lunch get together. And we're going to add some form elements on the left hand side. I want to know who is coming. We're going to need their email. And let's do a drop down so that way they can choose what they're going to want for lunch. So let's do lunch options and we'll edit these options. And let's do burger, pizza, and salad. Next, we're gonna to head to the top middle section. We're gonna to head to settings. Then we're gonna choose emails. And you can see we currently have two email options. We have a notification email, and this is going to let you know, the form creator, who is filling out your form. You're going to get a copy of their submission. And then the responder email, this is what JotForm is going to send to your user as confirmation that their submission has been submitted. So if we want to create a separate email for each one of those lunch options, burger, pizza, and salad, we need to create a new email. So I'm going to choose add email and we're going to do the autoresponder email. And let's go ahead and change the name of this one to be burger. And from here, if we want to change the email subject to be specifically about burgers, we can. But down here in the email content, we can either get rid of all of this or we can add things to it. So for example, maybe we want to give them a menu to the burger place who is going to be catering. So let's go ahead and grab that information. All right, so I've grabbed that link. I'm gonna go up to the top and maybe we want to, let's get rid of the entire thing. Let's make this email look completely different. So let's go ahead and build out the body of this email. We can say, hey, and then we can add form field. So let's do name, exclamation point. And here is the menu for burgers. Perfect, we're just gonna keep it really simple for this example. Now, if we need to edit anything else up in the top, if we want to change the recipients, if we want to add any of these advanced details, maybe we want to attach the menu, we can do that as well. But I'm gonna go ahead and save all of this. So now we have burger. Now, all we would have to do is right here, we can duplicate this. We have clone of burger and we can make one for pizza and we can make one for salad. But now that we have our new auto responder specifically for burgers, we're going to need to add in that custom logic. So over on the left hand side, we're going to head to conditions and we're going to choose change email recipient. And we're going to say if the lunch options is equal to burgers, we're going to send the burger email. And then right here, we're going to do the curly bracket and just the word email. Perfect. So let's go ahead and save this. We have that conditional logic set up. And again, for each one that you're wanting to do, we're going to go ahead and clone and we can edit it to fit that next one, the pizza and the salad. So let's go ahead and preview this form and let's give this a test. I'm going to go ahead and fill form and we already have that burger option chosen. So let's go ahead and submit. Perfect. All right, let's head over to our email. And here you can see that I have received both autoresponder emails. I have received the copy of my form submission right over here. And then I've also received the specific one for burgers that has the link to that menu. And it really is as simple as that. If you have any questions about how to use email logic for your form, so that way your users get the information that they need and want, definitely let us know down below in the comments. If you like this video and you got some value, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe and turn on the bell so you get notification every time we put out a new video. I'll see you next time.